The next step when you're scaling your viewports is to start looking at your annotation scale. And this all works with what is known as annotative scaling. Your annotation scale decides on which scale you're using against which viewport you're displaying things like text and dimensions in. Annotative scaling allows you to work with one dimension style, one text style. And the whole idea is if they are annotative, they will adapt to the viewport scales and the annotation scale that you set when you place things like your dimensions and your text. So we have a drawing open, it's 05 annotation scale complete. That's the drawing that we'll be using in the video. If you want to follow along with the video, as usual, you're going to be looking for 05 annotation scale .dwg. Now we have gone into our model tab here in the drawing. Now the reason for that is this is where you find your annotation scale. And you set your annotation scale to work with the viewport that you're going to be working with the annotative objects with. So if I go to my A3 landscape layout tab, it's this viewport here, and I'm going to be dimensioning up these objects here. So if I zoom in there, you can see that the scale of that viewport is one to one. So it's full size in that viewport. So let's go back to the model tab now. Everything here is full size as well. So we need an annotation scale of one to one. There's our annotation scale here. Same place as the viewport scaling in the layout tabs. Now it's at one to one at the moment, which is all we need. That is our annotative scale, our annotation scale. So what we've got to do is start putting some dimensions onto the drawing. Make sure in the Home tab, in the Layers panel, you are using your dimensions layer. Always put your dimensions on a separate layer. Now I'm going to place just some basic dimensions so that you can see how this annotation scale works. So I'm going to go to the Annotate tab on the ribbon. We have an annotative dimension style, Dim Anno. That's already set up in the drawing for you, so you don't need to set up a dimension style. I'm going to use the dimension pull down here and select linear. And as soon as I do that, because it's an annotative dimension style, it's telling you you're creating an annotative object. Set the annotation scale to the scale at which the annotation is intended to display. We know that already. We've been and checked, so we need to make sure we select one to one from the list. You can actually tick that box there, and it won't show you this again whenever you place any annotation or annotative objects. I'm going to leave it unticked because it's a useful training tool, as you can see. Using my object snaps now, I'm going to place a linear dimension, so it's a click and a click and a drag, like that. There's my 36 dimension there. I'm going to right click now and repeat that dim linear. And I'm going to make sure that I get it right on the corner there, to that corner there, and that's 35 that way. So you can see there I've placed two dimensions. Now I'm just going to check that one because that should actually be square. So if I click on that, yes, it is fine. It is fine. It's just checking that that object snap is in the right place for that dimension. So I've placed two dimensions there that have an annotation scale of one to one, which is here in the status bar in the model tab. So if I now go to the A3 landscape tab, you'll see that the dimensions are displaying there in the viewport. Now obviously, in that viewport, they're not displaying very well. The reason being that viewport needs to be made a little bigger and I need to do a bit of zooming and panning. So I just pan, zoom into the viewport, double click inside the viewport. I can pan this way slightly, like so. And you'll notice, look, when I pan, can you see the whole drawing's moving? Why is that? You need to be careful with your viewports. Just double click outside the viewport to deactivate it. If I now select this viewport, and see the grips appear, and then right click on the shortcut menu. What I'll get is this one here display locked. It's locked at the moment, that viewport is locked. I want to set it to no so that I can double click inside the viewport and then I can pan. Can you see? So you can lock down your viewport there on that right hand shortcut menu. You can still see there that viewport needs adjusting. So double click outside, click on the edge of the viewport to select it, click on the grip, and just drag that upwards a bit there. So that 36 displays there. Click on this grip here, drag it out this way. That 35 displays there. I'll just hit Escape there to deselect. And you can see there now, one to one, those are one to one. Everything displays the way it should be. So that's my one to one annotative dimensions placed.
What we're going to look at in the next video is what happens when we need to start displaying objects with different annotation scales and different annotative scaling.